first example. So the first example is write an algorithm and draw flowchart that will two sides of a rectangle and calculate its area. Now see, whenever we are doing programming, in the beginning you will be getting such simple uh, sums or such simple problems to solve. Like you will have to write a program for a computer in some programming language where the computer can automatically calculate the area of a rectangle. So as you already know, the area of a rectangle is width into its length. So basically, we need we need the user to input the width and length. Now, see the thing is, there are two ways in which this can be solved. We can initialize the value of the width and the length of a rectangle. Like say for example, I can say that the width of a rectangle is 20 and the length is say 10. So I can say W is 100, uh, W is 20 and L is 10 and then I can calculate the area as 20 into 10. That is what you must have done in mathematics when you were a student. Now when you are making the program do that, you can do it in that manner where you can initialize the value. So you can set the value to variable, the width ka value is 20 and length ka value is 10. The problem with that approach is that then your program is not of much of a use because the idea behind writing an application, as I said, is to reduce the human error. Sorry, not human error, sorry, the human efforts. Of course, error is also reduced. Like when you're doing the calculation as a human being, you might make mistake in multiplication, whereas a computer will never make a mistake in calculation. Okay. Now, when you're looking at any program, the best way is always to take the input from the user. That is what makes your program much better. Like for example, if you purchase a calculator. Now, when you purchase a calculator, it has number keys on it. Now, using those number keys, you can enter any number of your choice and then you have different operations which can be performed on that number. Now, would, if I ask you a question, would you purchase a calculator which has, which can perform a fixed set of, uh, you know, fixed set of operations like it can only add 10 plus 10. Will you like that? No, you will not. You would like to have a calculator which can add any number of your choice and that is what a good programmer does. A programmer will write a program logic which should work for any input given by the user. When I say it, any input, do not mistake it for any matter anything. It means that any relevant input. So like when you are, you know, looking at uh, a program like this, write an algorithm and draw flow chart, which will be used to calculate the area of a rectangle, the pseudocode, as you know, pseudocode it is just something, it is a program logic, which is written in simple English. So when we were students, we knew that the area of a rectangle is length into width. So in the pseudocode, I will simply write it as input the width and length of a rectangle. Second step is calculate the area A by multiplying length with uh, L with W and print it. This is my pseudocode, which is very simple to understand. It is in simple English. Now, we move on to the next part. Now see, the pseudocode which was written in the previous slide is now converted to an algorithm. I told you an algorithm is very specific. So you can see right now in front of your eyes, the algorithm is very specific. Now this algorithm has three steps, input W, input L. Okay, step number one. Step number two, A is, now see in the flowchart, whenever you're writing an algorithm, they do not write equal to sign, they usually write this arrow. So A is calculated as L into W and step number three is print A. So that is how you write an algorithm. Please note the difference between the pseudocode and the algorithm. See the pseudocode is simple English words. You are, you are writing sentences which anybody can understand. An algorithm is specific when we talk about the variables. W and L are called as variables in programming. Variables are um, strings or they are, they are Something there's the memory locations which store which hold values, which store values. Okay, so there are two variables W and L. So 
डब्ल्यू नाम का एक वेरिएबल बना आपने एल नाम का एक वेरिएबल बनाया यूजर वॉट एवर इनपुट द यूजर गिव्स द फर्स्ट इनपुट विल गो टू डब्ल्यू द सेकेंड इनपुट विल गो टू एल ओके एंड स्टेप नंबर टू इज परफॉर्म बाय द कंप्यूटर एंड स्टेप नंबर थ्री इज ऑल्सो परफॉर्म बाय द कंप्यूटर सो दैट इज योर एल्गोरिजम फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट हाउ डज द फ्लो चार्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द सेम एल्गोरिजम लुक लाइक सो द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ योर स्क्रीन यू कैन सी दैट we have a flow chart which start with the start symbols you can see that you have a square with rounded uh, rectangle with round edges which is for start and stop see look at the similarities if you remember in the flow chart symbols in the previous session uh, start and stop symbol is similar so they are geometric figures so you can see start stop is written in that next if you remember a parallelogram was for input so we have written start is the first step you start your program second step is to input w and n so because it is an input we are using a parallelogram third step now is calculating the area which is length into width and then finally we are printing the value of a and last step is stop so remember whenever you are drawing a flow chart it should always have a start and stop Uh, state, okay, and look at the way it is drawn. Make sure that you use the right symbols. And if you just saw the entire flow, now if you just notice the entire flow, a program tha jis mein we were supposed to calculate the area of a rectangle and as a student or as something that I've read or from some knowledge that you get, you so you just somebody is going to tell you that. Uh, area is calculated. Area for rectangle is calculated as length into width. So, this is a logic. Has somebody has told you that area is calculated like that. Now, as a programmer, what you got to do is you have written the logic that somebody told in pseudo code. Okay. So, I know that if I want to area calculate, then I will need two things: like length and width. So, which means that I am supposed to take the input from the user. So, input two things: like length and width, and then I have to calculate the area by multiplying. Then then to it and then I have to display the area to the user. So that is how you think of, of solving a problem. So you take a problem, you break it down into simpler steps, write it in simple English. That is pseudo code. Then you can write it in an algorithm, and then finally you can convert it into a flow chart. Now see, uh, it is not mandatory that you use all three of them because we are learning it in the initial stages. So to understand how programming goes and then. Of course, you'll be referring to a lot of books, so every book has its own way of solving problems. The flowchart is just a representation which is usually used in uh, project documentations whenever you are making big softwares which have a lot of programming in it. In that case, to understand the workflow, we have a flowchart. Algorithms are basically used to represent as to what are the steps that will be taking. so some people might skip the uh, pseudo code and they might go directly for the algorithm and most of the times people have an algorithm written and then they code based on the algorithm coding is something that i'm not going to teach today because that is part of your curriculum and your respective faculties will teach you how coding is done okay so that is about the first example of programming let's look at the next example now sir we have an example which is Used to convert. We are we are supposed to write a program to convert the length in feet to centimeter. So, किसी ने आपको जो value है वो feet में दिया आपको centimeter में convert करना है. So, feet as you know is one feet is 30 centimeters. So, since we know the logic, I have written the pseudo code. Read the input length in feet. Calculate the length in centimeter by multiplying whatever input the user has given with 30, and then you print the output in centimeter. That is the pseudo code. The algorithm is again very simple. Step number one: input the feet. Step number two: calculate or convert the feet to centimeter using the formula uh, that feet into 30. Feet का जो भी value user ने दिए, and finally step number three is print. the length in centimeter so if you look at the flow chart again it is quite easy to understand you have the start state 
further you take the input which is put in a parallelogram then you calculate or you, this is a process that's what i said calculation is a process that's why it is written in a rectangle so you can you're converting the feet to centimeter with the formula which is already pre established and finally you print the lcm okay well i think uh, we'll stop here